Okay, welcome to our first Team Photo Life GIMP tutorial here. And this is just the basic photo corrections for um, photographs taken within Second Life. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up our raw picture. This is a raw picture. I'm going to zoom in here on the face particularly so you can see what we need to do here. So you see that there's bits of mask coming out everywhere. And to fix this, we're going to go to our toolbox and select the clone tool. So once we have that selected, we're going to come over here and select a bit of our hair. We're going to fix that mask here. Hold down your control key and select the source. And let's just go over that and cover it all up. Um, in larger areas or hairs with many different shades, it's going to take a little bit more practice on this. For this one, it's not that difficult because we're going to blend it all in in a little bit anyway. And make it a little bit smaller and come down here and do this mask. We're just going to kind of paint in a mask over where the hair was sticking through it. Same thing here where her face is sticking through. I'm just going to paint that over it a little bit there. And up here. You have to change it for each time. We have to change color here. Okay, now once we have that done, we're going to smooth that out with the Blur Sharpen tool. So select that tool. Bring that up to about, mm, oh, not that big, around a three. Okay, and I'm actually going to blur in all of her hair too, because um, this was taken on low res on purpose so that you could see um, how to fix that pixelated look. Because I get a lot of questions on that. How do my pictures have pixelated edges? How do I fix that? This works great for that. And also um, over the portions of the mask where we did it, you can kind of run it over that and you'll see that it kind of blends it in together there. Okay, I'm going to zoom this back out. And uh, while I have it on this blur sharpen tool, I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to increase the rate here, around 80, 90. And go over these prims here that are floating to give them, uh, take away that primmy look. Make them look more like real fabric flowing in the winds here. And kind of ethereal, transparent, romantic feeling. Uh, once we get those prims, you'll see that they get a little bit transparent too. It's kind of, it's just blurring them in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to do the whole dress, just the prims that are kind of floating here. Uh, but um, once I get that done, I'm going to bring the rate back down to about 50. And I'm going to go ahead and do the remainder prims down here on the bottom because it does help like where prims meet each other and make them look more like fabric and not like, you know, prims of wood that have texture on them. And bring that over it. Make sure to catch these sleeves up here. A little waist. Okay. Get that done, and now we're going to start with our color correction. And to do this one, I'm going to go up to colors. I'm going to start with brightness and contrast. And uh, you'll notice that there's a big difference when we add our contrast. I'm going to bring it up to about 20% or so here. And I'm not going to touch the brightness. I mean, you can. You, you'll see, you know, brighter, darker. I just, I kind of like that being where it was. So when you get that done, click OK. And uh, we're going to add, I mean, it looks a lot better already. We're going to do a little bit more to it, give it more of that fantasy look to it. So I'm going to make two copies of it over here. And just by clicking on that Create Duplicate Layer button on your Layers channels. And here we go. On the top layer, I'm going to make that overlay on the mode. And bring the opacity of that layer down to about 60% or so, right in there. On that second layer, that middle layer, go up to Colors and go to Desaturate. What that's doing is making that middle copy black and white. So um, you have three options, lightness, luminosity, or average. Average works well here. Click OK. 
and I'm going to bring that opacity down as well to about 60%. Also in that middle layer, I'm going to make that background pop by going up to Filters, Artistic, and Soft Glow. I, I have the brightness. The only thing I changed on here was the brightness. I have it set at 45 instead of 75. Click OK and you have a great looking picture there. Now we just want to add a little people ask me all the time how do you add text and that's really easy so I'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to go over to our text tool and click on that and you'll see all the options for here and I've chosen a calligraphy font here the Lucinda or Lucido calligraphy click over here and I'm going to type in her name which is Rhea Abbott um, you can resize that to whatever 75 works here close and you can use your move tool to move it to where it whoops make sure that you're selecting the the, the actual layer okay well, it might help if you have it on the top too okay select the actual layer and move it to where you want it to be and a little trick that I like to use is I like to use my alpha to logos on text it really just makes them blend in with the backgrounds or work with your with the picture itself so I'm gonna go down to that would be under filters alpha to logo and I'm gonna go with the glossy on that I've changed my blend gradients to both to purples and that's the only thing I've changed on this palette so this one's purple this one's purple and then click OK and as you see it did a lot of stuff to it all at once but oops my picture disappeared don't freak out it's going to just go down to background you'll see the yellow lines here around the background go up to image and fit canvas to layers it comes back but oh no now there's this white box here how do I get rid of that okay uh, that's easy that's this one here that says background if you take the eye away you'll see it goes away Okay, you can also take the eye away from the other layers to see how they look, if that's, you know. And I'm actually going to take it away from the groomy, and I'm going to make my shadow here. Shadows come out at about 80% standard. I'm going to bring it up to 100. And on this one here, it's set to screen, but I'm going to bring the opacity down on it a little bit. So it just really blends in. It kind of looks like a watermarked name. It looks really nice right there. And I'm going to do... I'm going to go back up to my filters. Play around with your filters, guys. There's so much you can do with that. I'm going to go to Decor, and I'm going to add Bevel to this one. And I'm going to uncheck the Work on Copy. I don't need it to come on a new image. And click OK, and it just kind of makes it pop out a little bit more. Gives it a little bit more three-dimensional look. And that's it. And to save it, File, Save As, name it whatever you want and save um, put it in whatever folder you want and save it um, and that's it and I keep coming back subscribe to the um, links here subscribe to it come back see more tutorials and I should have another one up for you in a couple of days on shadows and things like that so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in world